my first tour. It was wild. <laughs> it was wild. <laughs> it was really wild. <laughs> the, I, mean, uh, I mean, even if I look back on it now, it's like crazy obsessive compulsive. Mm. I mean, I'd be hitting hundreds of balls and it'd be going well. And if I hit one bad one, I'd want to hit another hundred. You know? At the end of the day, you sort of bat yourself in and out of form during the same session. Yeah. So that was probably one of the, the things that probably dogged me throughout my whole career. I think I was too much that way. Um, if, if I was able to just maybe tamper that approach a little bit, might have, might have made my life easier. So just going back again a little bit, I've got just some facts here. Yeah. So you scored your first century at nine years old. Yeah. <laughs> at that age, yeah. did you comprehend what that meant? I think, no, not no. really. I think, I think the significance of, of scoring hundreds, you know, sort of grows in its intensity as you get older. But at that time, you just play it. So what was it like? You played Australia in the first game of this World yeah. Cup and you beat them by nine wickets. I was really worried about that game because it was going to be our first game of the World Cup and I reckon 9 out of the 11 that played for Australia, I played with them for mm. Australia. So there were two things. I wasn't worried about taking them on because I knew whenever you play Australia it's always an aggressive mm. type of game but I didn't really know what sort of reception I was going to get the Sydney Creek Ground. I love the Sydney Creek Ground, mm. it's a fantastic venue, probably one of my favourites. Um, so, but fortunately, um, the reception when we walked on was so good, and and, and you know, beating Australia obviously was yeah, really good. Did you say you were a humble man? <laughs> yeah, I try to be. I, I wouldn't be because because in, <laughs> in this debut you scored 162 runs. Yeah, oh, that was awesome. I typed this into yeah. YouTube. Right. It's everywhere. Right. With like tens and hundreds of thousands of views. Just on your your whole innings for this all right, all right. for this game. I mean, how did that field score 162 at the Gabba against England? Yeah, we we bowled first in that game, which is probably quite good because it just allowed me a little bit of time to um, to settle in. And England, I think, were nine down at close play, so the next day we got the one wicket early and and we were straight into it. So um, fortunately, I played a lot against those guys, like Ian Both and Bob Willis, and all of them. I knew them from the county mm -hmm. circuit, so it wasn't something that was foreign to me. Um, Alan Lamb tried to have a crack at me in Afrikaans, but his Afrikaans are so bad, <laughs> I don't think he even understood what he was trying to do. But, uh, but, yeah. but so, just before lunch, uh, it was a bit of a disaster because I was involved, it wasn't my fault, <laughs> but I was involved in a run out with Greg Chapel, and I decided the best place to be was to be out in the middle all day because I don't want to see him because yeah. he's going to be so grumpy. But um, yeah, fortunately that wasn't my fault, although he talked to Greg, yeah, it was never Greg's fault. What, what was the incident? Oh, he just called me for a suicide signal and I sent him back. So yeah, he was right, probably okay. run out by two metres. I was yeah. never going to make it either, but yeah, um, yeah so I thought, mm, good place not to be. <laughs> <laughs> this is your teammate, isn't it? My teammate. Yeah, he was captain. Right. He was yeah, captain. right. That's yeah. why you, that's why you stay out there. Yeah, stay out there the whole day. 